and yes we are live um good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily chat this is episode number 702 and the topic today <coughs> excuse me the topic today is how do you really feel what's really in the way of you having an amazing relationship something like that <laughs> that's the title i put up there um before i jump into the topic and explain myself let me choose my let me choose myself first you know what i'm about and why i'm here my name is barry selby hi welcome to my broadcast um, I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and a passionate champion, champion for the divine feminine. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business because of my passionate desi- um, championing for the divine feminine. If you, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and this also what inspired these talks starting over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, which today is now episode 702. Yeah, 700 plus, and they keep coming. And make sure I'm plugged in. So yesterday I did a talk about how your thoughts might betray you or something on that theme. So I thought, well, I've no thoughts yesterday. Let me talk about feelings today. So the topic today is what are you really feeling and what's really in the way of you having an amazing relationship? Because in some ways they're interwoven, although they can stand separate. So let me speak to this from a more, um, let's set a baseline first. I believe... <laughs> That we are very dear not, that generally speaking, we are very dishonest with our feelings. Yeah, I'm saying that blatantly. We are very dishonest with our feelings because a lot of stuff that we feel, we keep stuffing down, especially in the Western world. Um, most of us have either been raised or taught or learned the hard way that expressing yourself honestly emotionally is a bad choice or a poor choice because we get negative feedback or we get judged or whatever that is. So, hi Mary, taking a break from the live stream of the Beach Life Festival, which is a live event, it sounds like. Um, nice to see you in broadcast, by the way. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is a Facebook Live first, then it goes on to YouTube later on. And I do give you the links for when you find those at the end of the broadcast. So, so there. So if you want to interact with me and you're watching this on a replay on Facebook or on YouTube, then you want to join me live at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page and interact and copy and stuff like that. Um, so you're saying, so Mary said, you catch yourself lying about what your true feelings are. That this is my point. So thank you for bringing, thank you for bringing you back to my message because <laughs> I was making a detour. I do it myself. I, I, it, it's one of those things, you know, in 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 polite company or in society's interactions. Oftentimes, and especially for men, when someone says, you know, how are you doing? The the usual response we come up with is, I'm well, fine. Fine means 17,000 things, but it's usually just the one word we use because not willing to necessarily say, well, I'm feeling a bit out of sorts because of this, that, and the other. We don't talk about that. Because usually, a Redonda Beach, 30,000 people, well, that's, that's a pretty big event. And why live streaming is good because parking would be insane down there at this time of day with 30,000 people. Um, all right, back on track. So the thing is, <laughs> just stay focused. We basically haven't been, haven't learned to be, or haven't had the space to be received authentically if we express ourselves truthfully in our feelings, which is why we tend to hold back and suppress and avoid speaking about our emotional positioning and where we are in our lives. So if we're upset about something, well, let me back up. If we're jubilantly happy about something, we might share that because that's something that is easier and can, can be contagious in a good way. But when it's negative stuff, we don't usually share that very easily. And it's interesting is we don't usually share it with ourselves as well as other people. So sometimes it's a, I actually will say, for most of us, we're actually fairly inept in a way or clunky to express emotions whether it's negative because happy emotions, positive emotions for a lot of people are easier to express and share because they're more understood and they're more acceptable in society standards. Again, I'm talking about this rule of culture we live in, the society we live in. There's a distinct withholding of appreciating and accepting negative feelings. So for many of us, as I said, we suppress, we reduce, we hold back our emotional expression. We don't talk about what's negative, what's not working, what's everything else. So what happens is we tend to stuff that down and put it in a little box somewhere in the corner. And then we go on dates. And then we go out and meet somebody, get into a relationship with them. Meanwhile, right in this relationship, meanwhile, this box is stuck in the corner over here. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately, when you look at it, that box has to come out at some point. I talked about this a while ago about um, you should not your it's not your next partner's job to unpack your baggage, something like that. And this is on the same theme in a way is that when we have emotional stuff that's come up that we're not expressing, we're not allowing to free, have freedom, we're not talking about, we tend to, again, stuff it down, bury it, and put it away in the corner. But it's challenging to be in a relationship or be in any environment, frankly, where part of you, because it is part of you, stuffed away. Because emotions, in a very simplistic that, um, um, definition, are e-motion, energy in motion. Which means that the end, the emotions that you have that are stuffed down, negative emotions, or positive ones if you express those too, because some people are also not willing to express their positivity because they might feel that somebody wants something from them, so they'll hide them and suppress them. So taking any emotion that you stuff down and put in a box in the corner is suppressed, contained, controlled, unavailable energy. So when you're in the world interacting with people, interacting in a relationship, being in a romantic relationship, it's very hard to be fully participate, for participate, <laughs> fully participating. Let me try that in English. <clears throat> fully participating when part of you is not available. Now, for some people, there isn't just one little box over there in the corner. It's a whole stack of boxes of judgments, limited thinking, negativity, upset, hurt feelings, wounded stuff like that. There's a pile of boxes in the corner, which could be, as a rough guesstimate. 45, 50% of your own energy that's simply stuck in boxes suppressed in the corner. So when you're out there what interacting, people don't get to see all of you. They don't get to feel all of your, your, your presentation, your interaction, especially in a relationship, which is where you want to be more intimate and connected. You don't fully express yourself if you have this missing piece, so to speak, this suppressed piece that's sitting out there. So it's important to recognize that if you want to have a really good relationship, it's important that you can fully participate in that relationship. And if you have all your emotions tied up in little boxes in the corner, as I mentioned, then you won't be available to be in a, in a fully healthy relationship. So this is, I'm just making sure I cover the title as I explained it. So first of all, being honest with what you're feeling is a key. Secondly, when you are honest with what you're feeling, then you can be available to be in a relationship in a much healthier way. So how do you do that? I'm glad you asked. That pile of boxes in the corner of emotional stuff, emotional baggage I mentioned earlier, doesn't do anything for you when it's sitting in the corner except to be avoided. So if you want to avoid dealing with your life, you can put more and more of it in boxes in the corner. And I'm using that analogy to keep doing it, but that's the feeling level, is that you're basically putting it, taking your energy and just chipping away at your life force and putting it in boxes in the corner, so to speak, where your energy is suppressed and withheld. And you wonder why you're not feeling fully alive, vital, and effective in life. This is one of the reasons why. Because for many people, especially when they've been through a few amount of life experiences, so I'm saying age-wise probably 45, 50, 60, and above, because we've had so many life experiences and we haven't necessarily um, resolved them, then a bunch of our energy gets contained and controlled. So you wonder why people who are a bit older are a bit stiff and unwilling to move. It's because they're literally they're holding energy back in that little suppression, in that suppression. And for some people, that could be 60, 70% of the energy is held back in, in energetic boxes. That, that emotional suppression is tying them and holding them back so they can't be fully expressing. And you may know people like this who are withheld, who are somehow depleted, who look kind of washed out. It looks like it might be anemia or some sort of health thing, but a lot of it could just be emotional lack. It could be emotional suppression that actually is draining their energy and, and, and actually not draining their energy, but withholding their energy. Because the good news is the energy is still there. The bad news is it's not available because it's in that, that pile of boxes in the corner. So again, what to do about it? Recommendation, when you're single especially, rather than in a relationship, because it's not your, again, not your future partner's job to unpack your baggage. I've talked about that before. But it's definitely something you can do with somebody who knows what they're doing to help you unpack that emotional stuff. And it really is almost like taking, well, in some ways, it's like taking mystery gifts that may be Christmas presents and unpacking them to let the energy free up with the proviso, with the understanding that some of that stuff that's tied up there is tied to experiences, emotional upsets, past arguments and, conf and conflicts that may actually no longer have any value to you. And this is one of the things that's kind of interesting is that when you've got that upset emotion from something that happened five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that's been put away in a box and put in the corner, the event's already gone. Your 
attachment to it's probably diminished and the energy you've got still carrying around has little or no effect anymore but we still put it away and hide it we don't want to deal with it and yes some of those things maybe on the other end of the spectrum where there's more trauma attached to them because maybe something really bad happened and for a lot of my clients a lot of people i've worked with and a lot of friends i've talked to about this too there are sometimes some very deep dark wounds from the past that are still buried up and tied up in boxes in the corner because they're not willing to be faced and i understand that but i recommend highly i encourage you i am emphatic about this is to have life fully expressing in your life to have you be fully able to enjoy your life and to have you be able to have amazing relationships unpacking those boxes facing what's inside them resolving healing and embracing what happened so you can actually take back your energy and fully fuel and fill up yourself once and for all is absolutely absolutely the way to get where you want to go for some people it's just like i'll go back in an app and i'll swipe and find somebody that way it does not work you may get someone who fills the space and keeps you occupied but the reality is as i mentioned the beginning before is that your energy is still contained back there so you may be only functioning at 50 60 70 percent of your full capacity your full energy and you deserve more and so do they so take my advice if you will <laughs> and get some help and you can do that with me i do help from coaching in my coaching i do offer that sort of work where it's to where you can actually go back and see what those boxes are that you packed away many many moons ago unpack them free up the energy so you can be fully alive fully present fully able to express that requires working with somebody who's skilled so whether it's a therapist a counselor a coach someone like myself there are people out there that can help you with that but if you want to have a healthy relationship and be healthy in your own relationship with yourself which i'm a big proponent of healing your past stuff is vital resolving it embracing it learning how to love yourself again especially through those traumas and upsets and hurt feelings because you deserve love no matter what and i'm clear it doesn't matter what happened you still deserve love and appreciation yourself and then you can give it to somebody else I'll put a couple of links in the comments because there's always something that makes sense to fit in that place. I'll put a link in there for a discovery session with me so we can talk and over the phone and we can see and we can talk. So why don't I give you some guidance, some direction and also see if we want to work together. It's not a guarantee, just a possibility. So I'll put a link in the comments for that. It's a free chat we can have. And I'll also put a link in the comments once again for my self-love, sorry, my, well, yeah, why not? I'll put the self-love practice in there as well because that's something else that I've got on offer. And the newest thing I'm launching, which is Coming Home to Yourself, my newest course, which is a group course that I'm launch which I'm launching. And Coming Home to Yourself is step by step through weekly practices and guides, tools to really rebuild and restore yourself, support your self alignment and your self self um self confidence, self trust, self love, self care. It's a lot of self stuff. It's called coming home to yourself for a reason. So I'll put a link in the comments for that so you can check it out as well. Um, that, by the way, is a pay what you want course. So we have a phone call. Once you look at it, if you like it, then we can talk about what it works out to be for you, what you want to invest and how it works for you. That's my gift to you in a way because you get to decide what it's worth to you. So with that, I thank you for watching. That is the three things I put in the comments. Reminders where you can find me in case you never watched me before. This is my daily Facebook Live that I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replay is going to my business page, which is barryselby.author, and also onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all of these live. If you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, please put them below, or you can send a message to me on social media. I'll have a link in the comments, as I mentioned, for a discovery session if you want to talk. And uh, my invitation to you is to look and see over your shoulder, whether, I mean, visually, I know it's a reference I was using. But be willing to look over your shoulder at those pile of boxes that you have styled, stored away with your energy in them. The emotional baggage and pain from the past. Are you still attached to that? Are you willing to let it go and heal and release it so you can enjoy life fully? My advice, is, my, advice my encouragement is to say yes. Let's unpack those and do the work to resolve them so you can be fully owning your power, your energy, your life once again. Consider that. Um, with that, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Again, questions, thoughts, questions, comments, put it in below. I'll respond when I sign off. And uh, I invite you to take care of yourself. This is one of the ways you can take care of yourself, by the way. It's to really learn how to love yourself fully, embrace who you are, and to resolve the past baggage so you don't have to carry it around anymore. It's worth it. 
because your life is calling. With that, thank you again. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Take care. Bye.